good. Um, just tired, you know. We came uh, flying in from Greece today, and um, we basically have been sleeping like I don't know five hours the last three days. So uh, it's been kind of tiring. Wow. But uh, yeah, we had a really good time in Greece. So uh, it was the first uh, first show of the tour. And, uh, awesome. Yeah. So, so you're getting along with the other bands well? Yeah, really good. Um, we've been we've been playing with tour uh, with the uh, golf minister before. Um, and uh, we never played with Magenta before, but I knew I knew about the guys and okay. I've been knowing almost for a while. So and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a you know good good party uh, or good good traveling party, as you can say. Awesome. So uh, everybody's getting along, so really good. Cool. So your new album, Bloodstained Endurance, came out earlier this year. And yep. uh, how were the reactions to the fans and the critics? Um, very good, I would say. Um, it's like you. Uh, I, it depends on who you ask, I guess. You, you will. You know, you have always people are split in half. So you know, you have the the one part that are you know kind of prone to the old sound, and you have the other part that is you know more welcoming to new things. So I think um, what we did with this album, we tried to go a little bit back to the roots of the band, sound-wise, uh, but uh, songwriting-wise, we, we also wanted to, to show new sides to the band, and of course we have, not new, but we have uh, some newer members of the band, even though we've had the same lineup now for three years, we had a stable lineup for three years, but uh, I think uh, also the new members, obviously, um, added a lot of new things to the band, even though we, we talked really well before the, the songwriting, uh, you know, um, so we're sure to have a plan, a good plan of what we wanted this album to sound, sound so, like. Oh, so, sorry. Yeah. so in your own words, how would you say that it's different from anything else you've done ever before? Um, well, it's it's always hard for me to answer those things because I'm in the middle of the whole process, and you know I, I think it's easier to, to sit on the outside and look into something. But uh, for me, it's um, it's different in the way that we have uh, perhaps more than ever we have uh, just allowed ourselves to you know uh, do what we want to do uh, instead of thinking too much about frames, you know, yeah. because um, we we also we also thought a little bit like that we wanted to make a statement with this album against the the trend, if you can put it like that, of you know making this kind of music more and more commercial. Because I have nothing against commercial bands. Uh, I listen to a lot of pop music myself. It's nothing to do with that, but. Sometimes it's nice just to call a spade a spade, and yeah. we're kind of tired of metal bands, or or bands flying the metal flag really high, and they are a little less than pop bands with female vo vocals mm -hmm. and and yeah. and historic guitars. So it's kind of also a statement for that, and then that's something we uh, we uh, we haven't really done so much before, like uh, fo focused on that, if you can, you can say it like that. But uh, it was. Uh, for us to say something. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were talking about how you had this new line up now. So, what was the reason that there was such an exodus in the trail of tunes? Um, it's kind of boring to talk about it, you know, because I this happened three years ago. Yeah. And like I said, and uh, in the meantime, we have released two albums, and we have uh, toured up and down Europe several times, we have toured in North America, we have released two albums in the meantime, so for me to sit and talk about it is kind of, uh, I th feel like a waste of time, Fair because uh, I already did like 500 interviews prior to those albums being released where I discussed those things in detail, so, and it's like a Google search away, so, Fair enough. yeah, and I don't think we would have even sit here if, um, if we didn't make that decision very early just to put those things behind us because if you're going to just dwell in the past then it's, it'll eat you out from the inside 
and um, so we we just we, we had to take make a decision really fast just to put this behind us and uh, and move on. But uh, obviously, looking back, I can say I can say this much. Looking back, it's it was obviously that obvious that the the mood or the atmosphere in the band at the time uh, perhaps wasn't the best, and um, of course then we had this. Uh, rather disastrous tour in Mexico that I think kind of just made everything full or you know like it was the last drop and uh, people you know people just had it I guess so so that's basically what happened but uh, you know there's yeah I mean I've talked a lot about this and uh, I think if people who are really interested in knowing what happened they already would know it so okay. So, um, why did you exactly decide to continue it with a brand new lineup? Did you sort of think there was still so much left to do? Yeah, pretty much because um, I mean, it was never my decision to split up the band. You know, mm. that's something that the the previous members tried to do, but uh, I mean, had they maybe bothered to ask me what I felt about it, then we would maybe it would have come to an agreement or some of some kind. But uh, by acting the way that they did, um, I thought to myself that you know, fuck it, this is I'm I'm not gonna just bend over and or sit back and piss all over ten years of hard work mm -hmm. because of other people's lack of motivation when when things get rough because a band is supposed to stay together in good times and bad times you know not just surf on a nice wave and when things get bad and you jump ship so. I felt that I've always had a very strong vision for how I want this band to sound and for how I want to work this band. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, not ready to throw that away yet. We, uh, I think we have proven that with both with the recent tours that we have done and uh, the last album as well, that we, we still very much have the right to exist as a band. And, the whole discussion about whether or not we should have named it a different band is like people will have their opinion about that, but I, and everybody's entitled to their opinion. But I just weren't prepared to start from scratch after sacrificing everything for ten years, you know, because of some someone else's decision. So, so that's basically it. Okay, was it easy finding the new lineup? Yeah, it was. It was really easy, and uh, very, I'm still to this day very surprised that how easy it was. Because um, I'm not saying that it wasn't hard work, but uh, because that's what we have done really the last three years is just work, work, work. So, but um, I'm surprised uh, by how fast the pieces came together. Because the first one that I, I got in contact with again was Catherine, mm -hmm. who was out of the band for a while and of course now rejoined. And um, uh, through uh, her we came in contact with uh, Bjorn, the guitarist, and 